A microcontroller is an integrated circuit that functions the same way as a miniature computer. You can find microcontrollers in many household appliances such as TV remotes, coffee makers, microwaves, ovens, and more. Most modern microcontrollers will contain at least three key components. A processor core, which acts as the brain of the microcontroller. Program memory, which contains instructions that tell the brain what to do. And inputs and outputs for processing external data. Let's take a look at how the inside of a microcontroller works. Each worm represents an operation. The core, or chicks in this case, execute an operation while the next one is being fetched. The simultaneous fetching and execution is called a pipeline and it is faster and more efficient than if the mother bird waited until the chicks were done eating to fetch another worm. Some worms are larger than others and the chicks need to break them up into pieces in order to eat them. This is equally true for the word size of the processor. The larger the chick, the larger the worm it can eat in one go. And the higher the word size of the processor, the more data it can process at a time. Let's run through the full cycle. First an operation is fetched from program memory. This operation will access other data from temporary storage or inputs and outputs as ones and zeros. The operation is then executed by the core as the next operation is being fetched. The new instructions are fetched and executed and this repeats until the program finishes running or until the bird is out of worms for the day. When the microcontroller is reset or the day starts anew for the birds, the entire cycle starts again. Now that we have a practical understanding of how a microcontroller works, let's take a look at what they can do. Because of their small size, low cost, and low power consumption, microcontrollers are now used in most modern electronic devices. For example, let's take a look at the key fob for your car. It's not generally something you pay much mind to. You press a button and your car unlocks. But have you ever wondered how this works? A key fob, like a microcontroller, contains at least three key components. Buttons, the microcontroller itself, and a transmitter. When a button is pressed, it generates a signal called an interrupt to the microcontroller. This causes the microcontroller to run a very specific task called an Interrupt Service Routine, or ISR. Inside the key fob, the birds are asleep until they are woken up by the button interrupt. The ISR for the given button is then fetched and executed. The birds then go back to sleep. The ISR generates a series of ones and zeros that's sent to the transmitter. The transmitted code is recognized by a microcontroller inside the car that proceeds to lock or unlock the car's doors. With trillions of possible codes, you can be assured that only your key combination will work with your car.